Hi, this is Scott Hanselman, and I wanted to take a second to share some of the new features of Visual Studio 2012 and ASP.NET 4.5. In this video, publishing. Some very cool improvements to publishing, making it easier than ever to get your website up on the actual web. All of these features work with all aspects of ASP.NET, web forms, MVC, whatever makes you happy. It's important to remember that an ASP.NET application is an ASP.NET application. So when we get features like publishing and improvements to those features, you get that across all of your different ASP.NET apps. I've got a standard little MVC application right here. Uh, this application is a uh, little stock manager. I've got a stock controller. I've got my stock models. I've even done a couple of database migrations. My initial create, where I made my stocks, and then I added an extra field later, so you can see the migration there where I've added stocks. Now, if I want to put that up on the on the web, whether it be at a host or whether it be up at Azure, uh, what I want to do is download a published settings file. I'll use Azure for this example. I'm going to say new website with database. Uh, Scott stock app. Super complicated password. Now we're creating that website. And again, this could be at any host. It doesn't need to be at Azure. So here's my stock application ready to deploy. I'm going to click Download Publish Profile. This is going to download a published settings file. This is not specific to Azure. This is part of Web Deploy. I'll hit Save. Go back over to Visual Studio. Right-click and say Publish. This is some of the new publishing dialogues within Visual Studio 2012. And I'm going to say Import that publishing profile. It automatically brings in all the settings, usernames, passwords, and things that I might need to deploy my application. If I like, I can validate the connection, then hit Publish. That's going to start pushing my application up into Azure or whatever normal host that I want to use is. And because I've got migrations, we're actually automatically going to apply those Entity Framework migrations in the cloud. My application automatically starts up. So my application is up. Another new feature is that published profiles are actually stored within the properties. So the published profiles are shared and can be checked in as part of the project. You can see my web deploy properties there. I could name this production. I could have different profiles for dev, test, and production. This is my MS deploy production profile. I can also use command line support and publish that. I'm going to go back to my published settings file that I downloaded. I'm going to grab the password for deployment out of that published settings file. And then we'll take this MVC application that's located in my documents. Then I'll open up a developer command prompt, change directories where my application is located. And now from here, I can deploy from the command line when using a profile. So I'm going to say MS build we'll build MVC application 9 and then I'm going to say deploy on build we'll use the publish profile called production as a security measure I'm going to say allow allow untrusted certificate once I decide that I do trust my host I could import that into my local certificate store then I'll say password equals there's the password for my published profiles file. Go and do a build from the command line, and then a web deploy publish. I've just published my application, updated up into my host. Remember that I called my published profile production. One of the other new features is profile specific config transforms. I could make a transform and call it web.productionconfig. Let's say that I needed a specific application setting, but only in production. In this case, I make a web config transform file that's going to insert this key into the result. But I also have different web configs for things like release. So here's my release where I remove my debug attributes from web config. Well, that can be a little confusing and hard to manage. Well, now I can right click and say preview transform. That will show me the transforms that will be applied 
from my original web config, debug equals true, through my release web config, debug equals false, and then finally, my publish profile specific configuration where I've added my new key. Those transformations are applied whether you publish from Visual Studio or from the command line. The publish profiles are now shared. You've got migrations. Lots of great new features in publishing in ASP.NET 4.5 and Visual Studio 2012. <laughs>